Hey Internet, uh, this is Bharat, your weekend farmer. Welcome to another video. So today's uh, video is about uh, this product, uh, we wind uh, we decide. If you had seen my earlier video, I had uh, showed a set of products from Van Pros. Of all those products, uh, we wind uh, we decide as the one which actually caught my attention because uh, viral infections uh, in plant is quite common and uh, to be able to control is a bit difficult. From the past few years, uh, yellow mosaic disease has been the cause of concern for me while growing uh, okra. So I thought, uh, why not give it a try? So to experiment this, I have grown a set of uh, okra plants, around 30 of them, and few chili and few tomatoes because this is specially formulated for a viral infection in those. So what I have done is I have grown them and actually waited for some time so that one of the or few of them get in, actually infected. So yeah, that's what uh, this video will be mainly focused on uh, the infection yellow mosaic in okra. So that first dosage was given when one of the plant was infected. So two types of uh, spraying has been done. One is a preventive spray to the healthy plants and other one is uh, to the already infected one. So this is an 30 days experiment on all these plants. So watch till the end to know the exact result what, what has happened. So let's begin with the video. Today I'll be using Weebind Viricide from uh, Van Pros. So this is specially designed for uh, viral infections caused in plants. This can be sprayed in two ways. One is uh, with a dosage of 2 ml per liter to all healthy plants to prevent this infection. And to already infected plants, we need to spray 6 ml per liter. So these are all the okra plants which have grown this uh, rainy season. They have been doing well. Uh, so, but two of those plants are already infected by this uh, yellow mosaic disease. So what I'm planning is I'll spray this 2 ml per liter to all the other healthy plants, including those infected plants. And I will give, do, uh, boost up the dosage to 6 ml per liter as recommended by the company to only those infected plants and see how well it performs. So let's uh, begin with the process. Uh, I'll be using this 5 liter manual sprayer by Kisan Craft. So as per the recommended dosage, uh, I need to add 10 ml to this 5 liter and uh, spray to all the healthy plants. So let's begin. <laughs> If we watch closely, this plant is already infected. The Lamasak has already infected this plant. This is the only plant, uh, you can see this plant is healthy. And so is this plant. So I'll be making this uh, I've already sprayed the other plants with uh, 2 ml per liter uh, dosage that is to prevent spread of infection. So to reduce the infection in already infected plants uh, we need to make uh, 6 ml per liter dosage. So I have taken 1 liter of uh, water in this. I'll be adding uh, 6 ml of uh, weaving viricide and uh, spray into this. Today is uh, day 15, uh, time for the second dose. So, so things which I have noticed after uh, 15 days of uh, first dose application is, uh, first major thing is none of the plants have died. Even the infected plant is uh, healthy. Uh, and the second important thing is the infection has not spread to any other healthy plants. So I was able to contain the infection to one plant. So now it's uh, time for the second dose application. As uh, mentioned earlier, I'll be spraying uh, 6 ml per liter dosage to the infected plants 
and uh, 2 ml per liter to all the other plants. So far the infection has not spread so I believe it won't happen in the future. Now it's time to focus uh, on the infected plants. They have grown fresh leaves but I can see the infection has not reduced, they are still yellow. But the good thing is the plant has not died yet. And uh, one more uh, important thing as mentioned earlier is uh, the infection has not spread to any other healthy plant. So by the time of 15 days usually uh, as per my earlier experience uh, it should have spread to all the other plants. So yeah that's a good thing uh, which I have noticed so far. Now let's uh, begin with the spraying. I have already prepared uh, 6 ml per liter dosage uh, in this manual sprayer. So now let's uh, spray it to the infected plants. You can see this is how it looks. Time for a quick spray. Done with spraying uh, 6 ml per liter dosage to the infected plants. Now for the other healthy plants, uh, I have taken this uh, 2 ml per liter uh, dosage. I have taken 5 liter. So it will be 10 ml in total. So now let's uh, mix this thoroughly. Now time to start spraying this to the other plants. So let's begin. This is day 30 and uh, I'll quickly show you the plants, how they are right now. Uh, okay, before I show what I want to tell is okra has been infected. It was going well till day 20. Then in the last 10 days, the infection spread suddenly because even the rain was heavy and none of the factors were in favor of the plants. But when coming to the chili and the tomato, there are no new plants had been infected. Okay, let me show, quickly show you how the chili plants look. Actually, the only two were, the, only three of them were there. One had actually got infected by leaf curl. So the two remaining healthy plants are still healthy and they are going doing good. So this is how the chili plant looks like. Plant one and plant two, no signs of infection. Uh, they are good. So this is the status update on uh, chili plant after day thirty. So this is how the tomato plant looks like they started. You can see fresh tomatoes over here. No signs of infection, they are healthy. This we have a plant over here also. So feel uh, it works very well for a leaf curl. So as you have seen, the infection seems to be under control and the plants are doing well for both chili and tomato. So this is specifically for leaf curl. But on the other hand, uh, the okra plants are completely infected. Let me quickly show you how the plants look now. So this is how the initial infected plant looks like after day 30. So these are all the plants. So the look, these plants are showing early signs of infection if they are not completely infected. Let's see. So yep. Almost all of them are infected. So as I have mentioned uh, earlier, things were going well till uh, day 20. Till almost day 25 all this happened in the last five days or a week so yeah that's uh, my 30 days experiment with the uh, webind viricide on uh, okra chili and tomatoes so hope you found this video useful uh, things there might have been uh, uh, some mistakes from my side while doing this experiment what i have tried to do is i have strictly followed uh, the instructions given in the bottle so yeah, if you feel that something was not right with this experiment, do let me know in the comment section below. And also do let me know if there are any other specific product you want me to test. So let me check and if feasible, I will try to do experiment on that also. 
we have still few more products from uh, van pros like the ahar pushp so yeah if you see behind me we have a few plants of brinjal and uh, over there we have few cowpea so i'm planning to experiment i am planning to do this 30 days experiment on one product that is ahar a complete nutrition for the plant so that will be my next video so if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see that experiment so till then take care and uh, thank you for farming with me today see you all in the next video till then take care jai hind